Okay. Right. <laughs> That's right, you could sing. Uh, we are pleased to be joined by Cheldon Barlat Rumor, yes. who not only sings, but she's also very talented. She's the host and executive producer of something called This Is It TV, which this is? is it. This Is It is a digital series that broadcasts live each and every morning, 10 a.m. Eastern, in order to provide a place for people to scream their dream. Whoa, 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 Scream the Dream. By the Scream way, we're putting dream. up information so people can check you out. Yeah. Where did this whole idea come from? Well, I had a digital agency. So social media, web design, graphic design for years, well, since 2009. And everybody that would come into my office, primarily small business owners, primarily women, would come in and they would say, I have this idea. I want to do this. Meanwhile, they have remortgage their house, they haven't talked to their husband about it, they've decided that this is what they're doing with their life. Mm. But what they were doing was they were whispering their wishes. I am enthusiastic about everything, so I have, Clearly. I like to scream. So no longer are we whispering our wishes, we are screaming our dreams. And so that was where the philosophy was. So I was gonna create a digital platform where people had a voice, where they could scream their dream about whatever it is that they wanted to do, whether it was open a jewelry business, start a bakery, what have you. Do you feature these folks? I feature them every morning, every morning. Every, how do you, every, every morning? Every morning. Where do you find these like people? Winter. They find me, which is wonderful. More often than not, the majority of people want to find a place to put whatever it is that they're dreaming and a safe place where they can feel comfortable. I like to believe that I make people feel comfortable. So. You're from South Jersey? I am from South Jersey. What town? I grew up in Galloway Township, all the way down by the shore points. Right. And then now I live in Washington Township. And are yeah. these folks from all around South Jersey? So South Jersey, all the way up to North Jersey. I find myself in New York at least twice a month. Um, Philadelphia area, Delaware. Yeah, entrepreneurs. And then we Skype with a number of people from across the country. So it's Facebook Live? So it's Facebook Live. Talk about that, because I'm always fascinated by yeah. different platforms. Yeah. We happen to be have digital platforms, but we're also yeah. on public television, yeah. on Fios, on radio and other places. Yeah. What kind of do you think there's a different audience that you oh, have digitally? Absolutely. Absolutely. On Facebook Live? And when we first began, we started on YouTube. Right? And we started on YouTube, I have a young production manager, yeah. and we were kind of struggling on YouTube, you know, to be able to find viewers, and why isn't anybody watching? And we want to be able to increase the amount of people that are seeing it. My production manager comes to me and says, why don't we just do Facebook Live? All of the women, and primarily the people that follow Fan and like us, are women between the ages of 30 and 55. And they are living on Facebook. So as a What do you mean they're living on they're Facebook? They're living on it. Stop. What do you mean living on They're Facebook? They're living on it. For whatever, for recreation, for references, where to To find shop. out whether a high school boyfriend or girlfriend exactly. was doing? To be able to see the pictures of the bat mitzvah that they missed. They are living on Facebook, for whether it be personally or professionally. So as opposed to me trying to make my audience go to YouTube, right. I went to my audience. I love this. Yeah, which is wonderful. You know, it's so interesting. My, my wife Jennifer started the yeah. business about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Uh, she was in real estate. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And she got into staging homes, and she has a great oh, business. And I, love that. I realized that she, she posts on Facebook a lot yeah. of the, this is what it looked like, yeah. this is what it Before looks like. Is that what we're talking about? That's what we're talking about. It's about telling and not selling. It's about sharing what's going on. It's about saying, this is what I, in fact I do. Because the majority of entrepreneurs, their best friends don't even know what they do. They have spent so much time building this business, whatever they've dreamt up in right. their mind, they haven't shared it, they haven't screened it. So for us, we give them an opportunity to just tell people what they are doing and let them do with whatever they want with that information. Do you give them advice as well? Absolutely. On, Absolutely. The, sh on the show? On the show, on the show. Because it works that well. I mean, again, you don't know what you don't know, right? I always like to say I sell the cookies. If you're a bakery, right? If you're a bakery, you really know how to make cookies. All day you're making cookies. You're coming right. up with the recipes, you're figuring it out. You haven't sold one cookie. You don't know how to sell cookies. But you, you know how to make cookies. You know how to make cookies. So there's a void that you're filling, but how do you communicate that void to everybody else? Well, you go on This Is It TV and we help you share that. Where's your passion come from? Where's my Seriously, Just, like, yeah. where does that come from? It comes from my family. It does, it comes Describe. from my family. So I'm one of four. The majority of them are academics. Engineers. Why are you wrong? Whoa, 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 whoa. We just had four university presidents in here right. talking about the future of higher education. Right. You just rolled your eyes with, about academics. Because here's the situation. <laughs> I was a student athlete, a Division I athlete. I ran track, good genes. I ran track and we played field hockey for LaSalle University in Philly. Impressive. And which, which was great, right? I'm not shy by Clearly. any stretch of the imagination. My other siblings were more book focused. And Let's you just were... put it that way. I was just more of an extrovert. Were you social? I was very social. And athletic? And athletic. You were not a scholar athlete? I was an athlete. 
I was an athlete. Who that went to school? Sc- that went to school. Let's put it that way. <laughs> no, and it, it was just it not what I was passionate about. Did it connect you to people on a social level? Yeah, absolutely. And the ability to work as a team. So from a business standpoint, it's ideal. You know, I was the captain of the team and the leader of the team in that way. So I got people to work with me. But at the same time, I knew what my place yeah, was. Yeah, you just, you just triggered something. Uh, yeah. We do uh, a radio show that people can check out. It, yeah. It's called The Leadership Hour on a Ooh. New York-based radio station. And there's a podcast. So I, I ask that. leaders of all sorts. Yeah. Shapes and sizes, yeah. genders. <laughs> yes. Greatest leadership lesson you've learned so far is? Patience. Oh, you? I know. It's difficult. I have to do it every single day. Patience. If I want to build something that feeds my children's children, how can that happen in six months? How can it happen in a year? I have to have patience. But I how have... do you manage the patience with your passion? Because patient, the passion leads to the patient. Listen, every day you have to work towards it. Every single day. And yeah. so if it's not... It won't happen overnight, just, mm. just based on the want. I mean, I would love... If the desire will not get it done. It won't get it done. It's aspiration plus action equals, asp- equals abundance, is what I like to say. Um, women. Yes. In business. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Lean in. What am I, Sheryl Sandberg <laughs> right now? Um, here's what I'm curious yeah, about. women in business. One of the things I've, I do a fair yeah. amount of coaching and, yeah. and training outside of my broadcasting with a lot yeah. of women who often say this. Yeah. I love what I do, but I don't like to quote unquote brag about what I do. And I said, what do you mean brag? You're not bragging about what you do. You're talking about the difference you make. But the point I'm trying to make is, is there some, um, I, I like to brag. Yeah. Can you tell, nah, I mean, yeah, no, no, no. I'm not shy about quote right. unquote self-promotion. Right. Is that, do you think there's anything gender related about this? I do believe so. What is I believe that? that it's a giving mentality. I want to give to everyone else and I am last. It's just the nature of the scenario. I call it the big piece of chicken. Women tend to make the other partner a bigger piece of chicken. If I make six cutlets, yeah. I'm giving my husband the larger piece of chicken. I'll take the scrawny little piece of chicken. I'll make his plate look all lovely with the big piece of chicken. We always give everyone a bigger piece. We tend to sit back and just take whatever is left. What about you? Right. Exactly. So that's the nature of the beast. Not to say that that's the way it always is, but that's the nature of the beast. Moving forward, a lot of them, what I'm teaching a lot of them to do is to finally be comfortable saying who they are. Because if they don't share, if they're not willing to tell people who they are, other people will determine who they are. And that's not bragging. And that's not bragging. That's sharing. That's just sharing. And that's what, what your wife does as far as the before and the after. The work speaks for itself. I often say, why do you did 10 houses? Why, don't, right. why do you only have one up? Oh, right. who wants to know? Everybody people wants need to know. to know. Everybody wants to know. Repetition is key. And people get nervous about that. People, it's too much of me. It's too much of me. I've never said that. I, I, okay. Leave it alone. Well, right. But well, Google, <laughs> Google thinks it's too much of me? You know what I mean? No. Oh, no. The How best can it be brand, too much of you? The best if you, brands If you don't bring much. value, then there is too much of you. But sure. when you bring value. That's the next step. Knowing, knowing who it is you are knowing what it is you want, and then why you deserve it. You know, we could do great things together. I, I hope so. You feel the chemistry? I do. You feel the on-air? I do. Like, we got something going. I think so. Would you have me on your show? Uh, I what? have you on our show. Aren't you coming, aren't you coming next week? Gina. Oh, where's Gina? Oh, yes. I have to go all the way down there? <laughs> see what I mean? See what I mean? See what I mean? I paid a toll over the river and through the woods to come see you. Listen, we'll work it out. Okay, Listen, we You have are terrific. To. Plug oh, one more time. You. This Is It TV. Follow Fan and like us at This Is It TV. Facebook Live. Yes, Facebook Live, 10 a.m. Eastern, every morning, Monday through Friday. You brought Your it. daily dose I of lifestyle. Thank you for bringing news. it. Thank you so you much. It. Thank so, you so nice much. to meet Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Oh, so fun. Check you out next time. That was good. Yay, so fun. <laughs> the preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of Caucus New Jersey has been provided by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, NJM Insurance Group, ADP, Hackensack Meridian Health, the Northward Center, Wells Fargo, and by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. Caucus New Jersey has been produced in partnership with TriStar Studios.